Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu brothers and sisters Welcome to Ramadan Reminder number 3 Now subhanAllah today I wanted to speak about worship What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mean by worship when he says that he has created jinn and mankind only to worship him Now what we must understand is worship brothers and sisters is more than just rituals You know it's more than just um, praying your five time prayers or fasting or going to hajj Worship is more than this. SubhanAllah, worship is obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all that He commands us. Worship is loving what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves and hate what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates. This is what worship is. Now, it's very important that to understand worship, you have to understand that Islam is not a religion. Okay, Islam is a deen. It's a comprehensive deen. It's, you know, if we think about what Islam is, Islam is the deen which was revealed to the Messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to manage and organize man's relationships between him and himself, him and others, and him and Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. This is what it means to worship. So basically, you know, we see what Islam is. Islam is comprehensive. It covers all aspects of our life. Islam doesn't just deal with your personal issues, your personal matters. It deals with societal matters. And SubhanAllah, as we know, you know, in Islam, it gives us solutions to, to all problems, whether it's from how to use the miswak or how to go to the toilet to relieve yourself, all the way to the other extent of running a government, running a state, um, taking Islam to the rest of mankind. So we see that Islam covers all aspects of life. And this is no surprise because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, translation of the meaning, that in this book is an explanation for everything. So worship is following and obeying Allah's commands in all these matters. Now, subhanAllah, we know that, you know, as Muslims, that there's an attack on Islam. We know this. And in fact, the attack really is to relegate Islam to the level of a religion, to relegate it so that it's just your personal beliefs. You know, and that's why we see that the enemies of Islam, they promote, you know, ideas and concepts such as a moderate Islam, because they are happy for you to follow Islam in your private life. They don't have a problem with that. So what we can see is that they are happy to say, look, if you want to pray your Salah, you can pray your Salah, you can fast, you can go on your Hajj. We will even fund you and build you mosques. But when it comes down to how you live your life, this is how we decide. This is how you know, man's aql, man's mind decides what is good and what is evil. And this is what we see today. And this is why, you know, we see that many of the concepts of Islam that are under attack, they are those that are political by nature. They are those that, you know, deal with other people, deal with societal issues, deal with state issues. And we see that these are being attacked rather than issues to do with belief in Allah, to do with why do you fast? Why do you pray? These things are not much of their concern. If a Muslim believed that Islam only deals with the personal issues, whether it's your personal rituals of praying and fasting and stuff like this, but when it came down to you know how to live your life in society, that this was for, for us to choose ourselves what is good and what is bad, then subhanAllah, that person would actually cease to be a Muslim. So subhanAllah, brothers and sisters, when we're talking about worship, we're talking about submitting to the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in its entirety, you know, and this is not about cherry picking because unfortunately this happens to us all that as humans, you know, sometimes we want to take the shortcut, we want the easy route. So we tend to pick, you know, which parts of Islam that we want and which parts of Islam that we will just ignore or forget about. But subhanAllah brothers and sisters, Islam is not a buffet. We can't just choose what we want to do because worship includes following Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in everything. So on that note, inshallah ta'ala, I'll end this reminder, you know, just keep in mind, brothers and sisters, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, you know, about worshipping Him, you know, let's not be selective, you know, we don't have a choice in this, and let's follow Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all our issues, and let's not restrict, you know, Islam to just our personal lives. But in fact, this should be something that drives us, and Islam should be that thing which our whole life revolves around. So I'll end on that note, brothers and sisters. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.